Well, hello there. My name is Idris, and um, I was wondering if it was possible, if it were, if it was possible to uh, use uh, ZBrush Core to make uh, video game assets. So this is a very quick uh, workflow uh, prototype uh, proof of concept that you could uh, use uh, ZBrush Core to make a game asset. Uh, so I started with a very simple project trying to make a rock uh, using trim dynamic, a hard polish, uh, damp standard brush and uh, a little bit of move as well to block in the shape. Making sure it's faceted, not too controlled, so it looks uh, organic. Trying a few things. Mostly I, I bashed the, the rock uh, for half an hour. Making some edges look broken, chipped off. And then uh, I did a quick polypaint to see if it was uh, possible to um, transfer uh, polypaint onto a game asset. It's neither pretty nor realistic. It's not the purpose of this video. This is just a proof of concept to see if I could use ZBrush Core on my laptop to make some game assets. the file as an OBJ and as a 3D color print. I didn't. I wasn't sure if uh, if I could save the color data. Imported it into MeshLab and then simplified the shape using these settings and saved that as a, a new uh, low poly OBJ. Then I imported it into uh, 3ds Max because this is what I'm familiar with. But you could do the same thing in any software. You just need to make your UVs make it flat. Uh, take your low poly model and make it uh, make it UV make it flat UVs that you can paint on. Then using X Normal, I transferred the uh, settings from the OBJ, so the normal the ambient inclusion and the uh, vertex color so we could uh, get the, uh, the texture we made in ZBrush Core. Then using uh, the uh, cavity map tool inside XNormal I used, I imported the normal map we made and made a few uh, a few cavity maps made and saved a few cavity maps using trying out every setting just to have something to work with when I uh, import these into Photoshop later on. Then inside of Photoshop, imported all the baked maps, that's the uh, diffuse from ZBrush Core, and all the cavity maps to uh, quickly make a, a mock up of a, a diffuse section. This whole proof of concept video was made in 45 minutes just to see if it 
was working just to see how you would go about exporting something from ZBrush Core into Unreal. If you could uh, export the high level details, the color map and so on. So if you took your time and, uh, and uh, ZBrush Core works in a very, very low scale, so I had to scale everything up way bigger inside Unreal so it shows and there you go so it works you can export an asset a texture map and bake it to make um, to make a, an asset from ZBrush core and export it to Unreal 4 so the proof concept works now I'm not sure, have to, I'll have to push it a little bit further to see if you could do a real uh, proper um, finished asset, not a, not a temporary broken 45 minute one. I'm not sure if you can do a, a production ready asset. I did a little bonus round. Um, I uh, imported the model inside uh, Substance Painter and did a, a, a quick uh, five minute um, texture inside uh, Substance Painter just to have something more uh, PBR uh, compliant, maybe a little nicer than just the, the quick bake. Did from Seabush before. everything into Unreal 4. See how it looked. And there you go. It works. Uh, so if you have ZBrush Core and you're wondering if you can do this, then yes, you can. Um, it would require uh, to spend a lot more time than I did. But in 45 minutes, uh, as a proof of concept, yeah, it works. <laughs>